everyone, I'm Chuck Bushbeck, and welcome to Everything Baseball. You know, I grew up in sports all my life, particularly baseball, had a great time doing it. I want to share some of that footage with you, as well as the unique interviews that we had with these individuals. Our first scene is going to take us up to Trenton Thunder Stadium. The Trenton Thunder team is actually the affiliate of the AA New York Yankees. While we're there, we're going to run into some other stories that we didn't anticipate. And then we went to CB Park, which is the home of the Philadelphia Phillies Major League team. There we got two very special interviews. The first one with Ricky Ricardo, the second with Gary Matthews. Gary Matthews, big time player, Chicago Cubs, Philadelphia Phillies. Then we're going to go to a local high school kid, and we're going to go through some of his workouts, some of the things he does to become a better pitcher. Hey everyone, welcome to Everything Baseball. We're here at Trenton Thunder Stadium. We're originally here to see Phillies AA star pitcher Jesse Biddle, one of our full armor players, uh, throw in this unique experience on a Friday night here in a, in a beautiful night in Trenton. Uh, here we now we have Alex Rodriguez in the lineup, bat number two, playing third base. This should be real interesting. So Jesse Biddle, six foot six left-hander, Philly kid goes up the, up the turnpike into Trenton Thunder Stadium. When he gets to the park, he realizes he's facing Alex Rodriguez, who's back on assignment after injury. He's second in the order. Great matchup tonight. So let's see what Alex Rodriguez had to say about this game and about his pending legal case with Major League Baseball. Alex, how do you feel? I have a young son who loves the sport, Bob Lively. How would you want him to know about you and your career? Now I love the game, and uh, this game has been very good to me for a long time, and uh, it's all I've ever done. I love the game, I appreciate the game, and uh, yeah, I just love it. I felt good. I felt good. It's probably the best I felt since we started the process. I feel like I'm there. I'm ready to go. Are you confident that you're going to be in Chicago? Yeah. Unless I get hit by lightning. And, uh, <laughs> these days, you never know. Alex, uh, so are you prepared to fight uh, Bud Selig on any suspensions he may hand down so you can stay on the field? You know, I, I can't comment on that right now. It's still an ongoing investigation. And uh, I will follow the due process. How do you get this happy ending now uh, that you said you were Happy ending? Um, is I think get back on the field. Uh, help my team win to win a championship. Alex, what has been the mental challenge of trying to get better, to rehabilitate yourself, while also dealing with the hovering suspension? It's been a challenge. I mean, the hips are uh, enough of a challenge. And it's been a lot of hard work. Uh, I've had a lot of great people help in this process. And uh, that alone is a hell of a challenge. Everything else made it a little bit more difficult, but um, that comes with the territory. It's not uh, 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 a difficult process. It's difficult. It's been a difficult uh, process, but with God's help, I think we're going to end up with a good result. Alex, how do you feel about the way you felt tonight? Do you think you could help the Yankees tomorrow in San Diego? Oh, yeah. I, I wish they'd come in and play tonight. Really? I wish I was in San Diego. Uh, I can't wait to see my teammates. I feel like I can help them. Um, I feel like uh, I can help them be a better team for sure. Alex, Alex you're, you're here in Trenton. A lot of people came here specifically to boo you. Do you take responsibility for disappointing you? And how does it feel when you're out there? Well, I think there's a lot of Philly fans out there. And they probably don't have good uh, uh, memories from, from me. Um, that's part of it. I mean, look, uh, when you're on the road, and, and this is almost a little bit of a road game for us, uh, there's not a better, bigger compliment to be booed on, on the road, and there's probably nothing worse than to be booed at home. Um, no one likes to get booed, but on, on the road, it's kind of fun. Well, well, there, were, there were some, quite quite a few Yankees fans. Oh, there were? So okay. From my a lot of people cheered when I had that home run. <laughs> How'd you like it? <laughs> Alex, have the Yankees laid out a plan for you? Is yeah, there, is so there a timeline? Uh, I spoke to uh, our front office and uh, the plan is played today. Five, played them all seven. Uh, short workout Sunday morning. 
and hopefully uh, play Monday in Al Chicago. So Alex, you believe you'll jo you believe you'll be with the Yankees come Monday? Absolutely. Do you believe the team feels the same way? Uh, who's the team? Your team, the Yankees. Do you feel like the I Yankees? Hope, I hope so. I hope so. Have sure. you been told the plan is to join them Monday, or that's what you think is going to happen? That was the tentative plan. I mean, of course, i got to, you know, go by the pond, play someday, and uh, that's the plan. If everything goes well, yes, they told me. Where right, with all this going on, and you're so close, but with so much swirling around you, how do you feel knowing that it's that close to being back with the Yankees? I'm excited because I think I can help the team. And I, I, I can't wait to go out and play. I had a great time tonight playing. It felt good. Um, I felt uh, my work was good before the game, and my body's beginning to react the right way. I think the further I get away from the surgery, the more productive I'm going to be. Uh, I think I'm going to be better in six months. I think I'm going to be better in 12 months. But I do like the way the ball started to jump off my bat, the ball's coming off uh, the throwing arm. And that's a perfect example for me of a ball July, August, September, October. That I had no chance of being put in play, and tonight I put it in swing for home. Well, I'm thinking more emotionally about being that close to finally getting to put the Yankee uniform back on. And I'm, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I love being a Yankee. I love uh, love my teammates. Uh, I have a lot of brothers in that clubhouse. We won a world championship. Uh, the plan is to win another one, and uh, I'm excited to get back there and compete and uh, keep fighting. You talked to about being the plan for Monday. Uh, Cashman. Yeah. 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 Bueno, es un proceso, esto no se ha acabado. Eh, primero le quiero dar las gracias a todos mis uh, fanáticos, eh, específicamente los uh, hispánicos, que me han dado mucho cariño, mucho apoyo, y esto es un proceso que todavía no se ha acabado. Alex, ¿qué suspensiones come to fruition the rest of the season, next year, knowing how much you love playing this game? Are you, are you mentally prepared? To, to sit out for almost a, a year and a half of that. I'm meant to lose play for five more years. I mean, I'm excited that the way my body's reacting, especially over the last, I would say, the first 10 days in Tampa, those games, I kind of just threw them away. I mean, some of the guys that were here, uh, after such a long surgery, I, I felt those games were so-so. But definitely the last, I would say, 10 games or so, um, the way my body's reacting, the ball, the way it's coming out of my back, especially with some below mid-90s. I feel like I can play and play for a long time and be very productive. Do you have to sit out for the next year and a half? Are you, are you ready to do that? Um, I haven't thought about it that far. I just know that I'm excited about the way I'm feeling and mentally I'm in a good place because I feel like I can help our team win and be productive. There's a report out today that MLB has given the players a while uh, until 6 o'clock on Sunday to make a deal. Were you told that? I just came out of the game. It's the first time I heard it. Uh, what happens more? if you're not allowed to take the field on Monday? Uh, there's a lot of layers to this, Marie. So as I go, my, my job is to do everything I can physically and mentally to get back on the field to help my team win. As far as all the legal stuff, you know, to me it's been confusing. I mean, the one thing that I've had from so many people, so many fans, uh, some teammates, they're like, what is going on? I think uh, there's a lot of people that are confused, a lot of people that don't understand the process. There is a lot of layers. I will say this. There's more than one party that uh, that benefits from me not ever stepping back on the field. And that's not my teammates, and it's not the Yankee fans. Who is it? Who is it? Who benefits from me oh, I can't tell you. I, I can't tell you that right now, and I hope I never have to. Do you think that's a factor in what's going on? I'll let you decide that. Alex, do you think you're being single out? What do you think? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares what I think. Uh, I care what you think. You've what? spent 19 years half your life as a Major League ball player. Uh, if and when that career comes to an end, should it be your decision? I hope so. I hope so. Like I said, I can tell you how I feel physically. I can tell the way my body's reacting. I can be playing against A ball guys or big league players. To me, the competition is with, with me trying to you know, do what I do. And I like tonight. Uh, illustrates to me that I can play now and I can play for a long time. And it was pretty good. And you want to, five more years? I would love to. It's my life. You said I've done it my whole life. I've been playing this since I was three years old. I said it before my father played baseball. It's the only thing I know how to do is my life with it. Um, so. Alex, if it is time to say, hang it up. What is the? Uh, what are you going to miss the most about the, the game? What, what I'm not going to answer that question because it's not time for me to hang it up. I have a lot more fight in me. Um, we have a process, um, and uh, the process is not here yet. Alex, Andrew, one more. Alex, what, why do you think that the, uh, there's 
companies that are against you. Say that last Why, why do you think you're being singled out? What would be the reason for that? <clears throat> well, I asked Murdy that. He didn't answer it, so he was under the mic. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I think that's the pink, pink elephant in the room. Uh, I think we all agree that we, we, we want to get rid of uh, PEDs. Um, that, that's a must. I think all the players should feel that way. Um, but when all this stuff is going on in the background and, and people are finding creative ways to, uh, you know, cancel your contract and stuff like that, I think that's concerning for me. It's concerning for present, and I think it should be concerning for future players as well. Uh, there is a process. Um, I'm excited about the way I feel tonight. I'm, I'm going to keep fighting. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Alex. You know, that interview with Alex Rodriguez, there was times when you just felt that Alex was being Alex, and other times he was just being politically correct. We're going to go commercial break. When we come back, our exclusive interview with Ricky Ricardo, Philadelphia Phillies announcer at CB Park. familia hispana ahora tiene diversión sin límites latin mix tv con lo mejor de la música latina un resumen semanal del mundo de los deportes lo último de la farándula los estrenos más recientes de la pantalla grande los últimos avances de la industria automotriz cobertura especial de los eventos de la comunidad segmentos de tecnología salud belleza y lo último en modas entrevistas con tus artistas favoritos la chica de la semana El top 5 de la música latina Y mucho, mucho más En el mejor programa de entretenimiento Del Valle de la Web Los sábados a las 11 de la mañana Por Azteca Philly Y para el resto del mundo A través de latinmixtv.com O en las redes sociales Latinmix TV Diversión sin límites Torres del Appliance te ofrece descuentos de un 50 a un 80% de descuento en artículos para tu hogar. Aires acondicionados, lavadoras, secadoras, neveras, estufas, matres, juegos de patio y mucho más. Visite nuestro warehouse de más de 7000 pies cuadrados y elija su mercancía de nuestro inventario o puede ordenarlo de nuestro catálogo. También ofrecemos servicios de transporte. Torres del Appliance, localizados en el 4571 de Torres del Avenue en Filadelfia. Para más información, llámenos al teléfono en pantalla. Torres Hill Appliance Si quieres ahorrar de un 50 a un 80% en cosas para el hogar Torres Hill Appliance es el lugar Welcome back to Everything Baseball In our next story, we go down to CB Park Big series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves During that time, I had a unique chance to speak with two of the famous announcers of the Philadelphia Phillies One, Ricky Ricardo Two, Gary Matthews Here's what they had to say I'm Chuck Bushbeck, and we're here at CB Park. I'm with Ricky Ricardo, one of the announcers for the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, Ricky, real fast, mm -hmm. uh, I want to get into a story that I heard a while ago involved Ozzie Guillen, mm -hmm. uh, involved Fidel Castro. Can you shine some light <laughs> on what happened there? Well, it was Ozzie being Ozzie. Ozzie Guillen's uh, off-the-cuff political remarks, which you know, didn't take very well in the city of Miami, obviously with uh, with the very large uh, Cuban exile community. I mean, my family included. No one took it well. It was swept under the rug. Ozzy apologized. The, his level of contrition was, was good enough for us, uh, and it's all forgotten. But at the time, it did, you know, it sparked a lot of heat in Miami, and it really was the first step in he uh, getting fired from the Marlin job. Okay, yeah. so you kind of smoothed things over. We tried uh, between myself, Jose Contreras, who at the time was, was still a pitcher here with the Phillies, is another Cuban exile. We all did our part to just calm the community down. Okay. Um, also, another story, Araldis Chapman. <laughs> Apparently, Araldis and, and you had something to do with a bakery. Of no, us. well, let me explain. The One of the f players' favorites, even Freddie Gonzalez here from the... Atlanta Braves, uh, there's these little Cuban pastries that are guava and cream cheese, which are uh, delicious. And all the Cuban players, that, you know, they come in, they all tell me, hey, bring 40, 50, 100. I mean, uh, Gio Gonzalez was just here, ordered 200 of them for the whole team. But the one Sunday where um, Araldis Chapman got lit up by the Phillies in the bottom of the ninth inning, I was asked by... Two a, home runs, correct? Right. I was asked by a morning show uh, host, which will remain nameless, <coughs> Angelo, uh, what happened. 
with Chapman because uh, his fastball that day was about mid 90s instead of the usual 101, 102. Correct. And I said, oh, there's nothing wrong with his arm. He probably just had a couple too many of the pastries. And of course, the Cincinnati blog jumped all over it. But but it's it was all a misunderstanding on no one else's part but the blogger because the player cracked up laughing asked me to get him another box uh, but yeah there was no issue it was an issue made by a Cincinnati blogger so have you provided any more pastries absolutely. to major league players absolutely I just brought in a box today yeah <laughs> uh, I guess the big thing is don't eat that before a game you can eat them before or after the game you know that doesn't really matter okay you know, yeah. uh, the new thing that you're doing now is you're actually broadcasting in Spanish for the Philadelphia Eagles correct I have added the Philadelphia Eagles to my repertoire I do obviously do the Philadelphia Philadelphia Phillies in Spanish. I am now doing uh, every yard of the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, along with my duties as a talk show host on uh, Sports Radio 94 WIP. But I'm looking forward to the National Football League. It's got a very big Latino initiative with okay. La Liga Nacional de Fútbol Americano. So it's something I'm looking forward to Monday night against the Redskins. Now, what is your background in football? Are you doing the color analyst or are you doing play-by-play? -play? I am the play-by-play -play guy. Felix De Jesus uh, is my uh, color analyst. He is the New York Yankees baseball play-by-play -play guy. We uh, we both have histories in uh, in all sports: uh, baseball, football. We've done. He's done hockey in Spanish. Uh, I've done basketball in Spanish. So we're pretty well-rounded sports guys. So we it, it comes off very well. It's our second year doing it. And how did you how did you get how did you start to prepare for this football stick? Well. Uh, the rights were purchased by Bill Kulik, who is also the rights holder for Phillies in Spanish. But I just, I, I am just a sponge for sports knowledge. You know, I've been watching football since back in the mid-60s. I mean, I'm in my early 50s. I'm a Joe Namath, Fran Targent and Giants, Norm Sneed Eagles guy, you know, from, from Jersey. So, you know, throughout the years, I've just sucked it all up and it's still in my head. Chuck Bushbeck with Ricky Ricardo at CB Park. Chuck Bushbeck with Gary Matthews, broadcaster of the Philadelphia Phillies. Gary, um, nine, uh, first round draft pick when you came up through the majors with the, with the Giants. Yeah. Eventually played for the Phillies. Was that your most memorable moment or was there something else? Well, I mean, being drafted is really great. Most memorable uh, uh, moment would be uh, playing in the World Series here, even though we lost against uh, Baltimore. Um, that would be more of a memory. Signing, I think everybody signs and you're gratified that, hey, that you are signed. Once you do that, you want to be able to uh, have a career where you can have things that you're really proud of. And then being in the World Series here uh, with the Phillies, being MVP, probably without a doubt is my uh, 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 one of my proudest moments, I'll say that. Okay. 281 lifetime batting average. Uh, three home runs in one of the National League playoff games. Um, going into broadcasting, you were originally um, a, a hitting instructor, um, on the field kind of guy. What made the transition to broadcasting? Well, very simple. I got fired uh, in Toronto from uh, Jim Fergosi. Um, our uh, ball club had really two really great uh, uh, years, and uh, he said he just wanted his friends there. Um, at that time there, Mr. Gore, who's the general manager, asked me if I wanted to go up in the booth, and I did it uh, three years there with Toronto. Really would still be there if Davey Lopes hadn't have asked me to come down uh, to be the hitting coach for the Milwaukee Brewers. And then I got offered the job uh, here from uh, um, the with bees, and uh, uh, it's been uh, it's been great. Okay, uh, big change here in, in the regime. Charlie Manuel is out. Ryan Sandberg's in. Have you seen a difference with the players? No, not really. Uh, they're, you know, the, the Charlie's record is that if you give him a good team, that they're. Uh, he'll win. Uh, Sandbird is uh, uh, maybe younger, can relate to them a little bit uh, better, the younger players maybe that are coming up. Um, Rhino probably will be more discipline, uh, a disciplinarian than uh, Charlie. Charlie didn't have a lot of rules, uh, play hard and to be on time. And uh, Sandbird is more of a hands-on, likes to do a lot of drills just mm -hmm. about every day. And um, you know, he spells uh, uh, fun by W-I-N. Last question. It's the end of the year, kind of a rocky season. 
uh, some ups, some downs. How does Ryan Sandberg get these guys motivated to finish out the season? Well, they're fighting for jobs. They're all younger players. They're fighting for jobs for next year. And the guys that are veteran guys, uh, they've already bought into it. Guys like Chase Utley. Um, he doesn't have a problem going out doing the things that he needs to. And I think for Utley, it might put a little added pressure on him simply because he's being uh, managed by a uh, true Hall of Famer who is a second baseman right. in Ryan Sandberg. Okay. Uh, Chuck Bushback with Gary Matthews at CB Park. You know, I had a great time talking to those two guys. We're going to head to commercial now. But when we come back, we got two very unique stories. One guy throws not only left-handed, but also uses his right hand to throw. Second story, we got a dog that comes out of the dugout and picks up the bat. Instead of a bat boy, we have a bat dog. We'll be right back. del Appliance te ofrece descuentos de un 50 a un 80% de descuento en artículos para tu hogar aires acondicionados, lavadoras, secadoras neveras, estufas, matres, juegos de patio y mucho más visite nuestro warehouse de más de 7000 pies cuadrados y elija su mercancía de nuestro inventario o puede ordenarlo de nuestro catálogo, también ofrecemos servicios de transporte, Torres del Appliance, localizados en el 4571 de Torres del Avenue en Filadelfia, para más información llámenos al teléfono en pantalla, Torresil Appliance. Si quieres ahorrar de un 50 a un 80% en cosas para el hogar, Torres Tales Appliance es el lugar. La familia hispana ahora tiene diversión sin límites. Latin Mix TV con lo mejor de la música latina. Un resumen semanal del mundo de los deportes. Lo último de la farándula. Los estrenos más recientes de la pantalla grande. Los últimos avances de la industria automotriz. Cobertura especial de los eventos de la comunidad. Segmentos de tecnología, salud, belleza y lo último en modas. Entrevistas con tus artistas favoritos. La chica de la semana El top 5 de la música latina Y mucho, mucho más En el mejor programa de entretenimiento Del Valle de la Web Los sábados a las 11 de la mañana Por Azteca Philly Y para el resto del mundo A través de latinmixtv.com O en las redes sociales Latin Mix TV Diversión sin límites Welcome back to Everything Baseball In our next story I talked to Pat Vendetti If you don't know who Pat Vendetti is Pat not only comes out of the bullpens for the Yankees organization, he throws left and right-handed. We're with Pat Venditti of the Trenton Thunder. Pat, playoff baseball. What does that mean to you? You know, there's nothing better. I was fortunate enough to be up here a few years ago when we were in the, uh, the playoffs. We made it to the finals, but I uh, got knocked out there in the uh, championship, so hopefully we can take care of business this year. Okay, uh, you're coming out of the bullpen. Do you have a specific inning they look to bring you at? Uh, you have a unique town, which we'll get to in a second. You know, it just kind of depends on the matchups and uh, what the other team has coming up, you know, as far as lefties or righties. It could be anywhere from the sixth to eighth inning, just depending on how the game's going. Okay. Uh, Pat, you have a certain talent here. Can you show us what that talent is? Uh, you have you you have the ability to throw left and right handed, correct? Correct. It's a uh, I, I do have that ability, and I use a six finger glove here made by Mizuno that allows me to flip over from one side to the other, um, and I'll just face the hitters depending on which side they are. So if they're a right handed hitter, I'll face them right handed. If they're left, I'll go left. And I think it was because of you we had to change the baseball rules because, as I remember, we had a right-hand hitter come up and you would switch over to the right hand and then a left-hand hitter and you would switch over and they had to make some agreement that you had to telecast exactly what arm you're going to throw with. Yeah, the rule is that once I step on the rubber, I have to stay that way for the entire at-bat. So if there's a switch hitter coming up, I'll know beforehand or I'll look into the dugout. 
and the uh, manager will signal for me which hand he wants me to throw. You know, I step on the rubber, the batter gets in the box, and that's the end of it. Neither of us are allowed to switch after that. So whatever hand your glove is on when you step on the pitching rubber, it's an indication of what arm you're going to throw with. Correct, and the hitter can wait until I do that, so he would get the advantage in the end if he's a switch hitter. Okay, and did you ever have a situation where uh, someone else came up in the middle of the at-bat, and could you switch over at that point? If that does happen, which it has not, I am allowed to switch. Um, or if I'm injured, that's the only other, the only other, uh, I guess, exception for the rule. Okay. Uh, memory serves me correctly, you were drafted in 2008 originally. Were you redrafted, and what was your playing experience, uh, I think, in the Dominican or Latin America? You know, I've been fortunate to play in Mexico, Venezuela, and the Dominican, and they're all three wonderful places to play with passionate fans. And, uh, you know, it really, really helps players develop. That's some of the best competition in the world over there, and there's, uh, there's nothing really like it. What's the difference between this Trenton Thunder team and last year's team that didn't quite get to where they wanted to get to? You know, uh, we got some new faces this year. Um, I wasn't a part of the team last year, so I can't speak too much on that. But I do know we have a bunch of guys that uh, come here to the park every day and play hard and want to win, win this title. All right, fantastic. Anything you're, you're looking to do personally in this playoff series? Come in and get every guy out I face to help this team win as many games as we can here in the next two weeks. Hey, Pat, thanks so much for being with us. This is Chuck Bushbeck live at Arm & Hammer Park. After we talked to Pat Vendetti, I had a chance to watch Derby, also known as Home Run Derby, the famous bat dog for the New York Yankees AA affiliate team, the Trenton Thunder. You know, for the past 10 years, Derby's father, Chase, also known as Golden Thunder, the original bat dog, had just retired from his position and then sadly recently passed away from cancer. Executives for the Yankees tell me that Chase and his presence at the ballpark was the personification of wholesome family entertainment. Now his son, Derby, is left to carry on that tradition. And as usual, I had a chance to talk to my guest. Derby told me that he really enjoys bringing the water bottle out to the umpire on a hot summer day. Much of his quality time is spent sitting out in the bullpen with the other players, not to mention posing for pictures and letting fans pet him. When I asked him if there was anything that he didn't like about his job, he told me, I'm not crazy about picking up bats used by players that use pine tar. It leaves kind of a bad taste in my mouth. But hey, I'm a professional and I just have to work through it. I would say that Home Run Derby is the epitome of a professional. You know what? I love doing that story about Derby and Chase. Here at Everything Baseball, we just didn't want to do a show about facts and figures. We want to do real people, real stories about real baseball. I'm Chuck Bushbeck, and we'll see you next time.